Uh, Jackie, a lot of talk this season about the differences in Celtic under Brendan in comparison to, to Ange Postacoglu. Uh, how different are Celtic this campaign? Yeah, I think there's, there's subtle differences in terms of how they play, the intensity that Ange had in his team pressing. You know, um, I think certain teams obviously are sitting in against them, which makes it a bit more difficult. Um, and you're, you're not seeing the best in likes of Kyogo. I think you see that when they're at their best when they're pressing. You see in the clips here, it, it sets the tone, allows the midfield to come up and it creates space for them. And it's difficult for the opposition to get back in. And, and I think we've seen that in the last few weeks, um, getting back to that. And I think here, when they've got the space to go into, Kyogo isn't getting picked up and he's no you know, got his back to goal. He's always better when he's facing the opposition goal. There's space to run into. And I think that's been the main the main difference from this season. You know, he's not scored as many goals because, you know, he's maybe got his back to goal more. But as I said, there's, there's been good signs the last few weeks that we're starting to see a higher intensity. They're moving the ball quicker. They're creating more opportunities. Yeah, intensity then could be important this weekend if to get the best out of Kyogo. But generally speaking, is the one area within the ranges you feel that, that Celtic can 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 get some get some room against their rivals. Yeah, I think they've been sold enough. Um, again, when uh, the manager came in there, there's been a a real um, defensive structure. I think they've they've changed little bits there and put a wider players in. It's, it's kept a fullbacks, but. Uh, you know, defending more, but I think there's spaces there that they see it in the clip here, just taking this, the centre backs out of position in between the centre backs and the full backs. I think that's an area that Celtic can, can hurt them. You know, just over the top, if it's Kyogo coming into the space there, and the last thing you want is your centre backs will be out in the left back area, and that's something that I think Brendan will try and uh, implement at the weekend. You know, just balls over the top. I know it's a bit different, but they see the strength there. You know, they, they seem to struggle when they're running back towards their own goal. The bigger picture of things, the onus is on Rangers to, to take the game to Celtic in, in this match. So they might have to gamble on pushing bodies forward. And that, again, maybe gives more scope out wide and, and long ball to the centre-back. Yeah, they're at home. Just said Celtic's won the first two games this season. Um, you know, the, the Celtic, uh, the problems haven't been against Rangers. It's other teams they're sitting in. But you expect Rangers being at home with all the support they've got to come here and try and dominate the ball, which creates space. And as I said, if Celtic get about it right from the start and keep that intensity up, which they're capable of doing, I think it's areas that it can hurt them. It is tight at the top, as I mentioned. How decisive could a result for either side be in this game? Yes, yeah, it's, it's a really important one because there's not many games left. I think it's, an, it's imperative that Celtic don't lose the game. You know, Rangers got the game in hand. There's not many games to go. Um, so, you know, a draw wouldn't be the, the worst result for them. Valley Old Firm is part of your big weekend on Sky Sports. You can see all the action live from 11am Sunday, live on Sky Sports Football.